Jody Spencer mentioned the quantum world mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to the Newtonian world. So Newtonian is how, so when I went to school, I have a, a level in physics and maths. So the physics that I learned at school is Newtonian physics. So Newtonian physics says, if um, I have my toy re representation of the amygdala, if I drop that, what's going to happen? Hmm? Where's well, it going to go? Or I'll catch it. So what law is at play? The law of gravity. Now gravity is a new law of uh, sorry, it, Newtonian physics. Uh, in other words, Newto the Newtonian physics covers the big stuff. Um, but when we split the atom, split the atom, split the atom, split the atom, what do we find? The split atom. <laughs> we eventually find that there's actually nothing there that's matter. That is not matter. It is just energy just vibrating at a very high level or different levels. So everything is energy just vibrating or everything's frequency. So the reason that, that I can hold this and feel it and then we, we've got a body is that it is just energy vibrating at a, a lower level. Because what's a thought? Energy. It's an energy. Well, where is it? Does it obey the same rules as the bigger stuff? No. Once you get down to the quantum world, quantum physics or quantum dynamics uh, or the, the world of the... Um, universal consciousness actually operates at a totally different level. Uh, the results are really the opposite of what you would expect and they do not make sense to the conscious mind. Now we've known about um, with Niels Bohr and loads of people um, for over a, about a hundred years now as far as quantum mechanics is concerned and all of the physicists and all of the scientists of whatever persuasion um, agree on that one point that everything's energy just vibrating at a different level at a different frequency so but you don't see the quantum laws of quantum physics in the mainstream do you No. You don't, do you? No. You might see it in the odd um, science program. Um, you might see the, the they might refer to the double slit experiment, etc. But um, the real laws of quantum mechanics are how we work as human beings all the time. This is why we are conscious creators um, and not uh, just. But most people believe because we are the uh, operating system most people believe that we uh, aren't conscious creators because that's the system telling us that we're limited that we've got to do this we've got to play by the rules which is fine i'm not saying that people are going to be anarchists and what have you you know we're playing an organ we're all members of a regularly organised society, which is brilliant. But we are capable of far more than we've been conditioned to believe that we are. That's it. Because if everybody was, um, if everybody was told that they could actually achieve anything that they wanted to achieve, that they put their mind to, and then shown how to do that, um, we couldn't be controlled, could we? It's all about control. It's got everything's got to be controlled to a certain certain extent and, and laws, etc. I am not saying that. That's I'm just saying that the vast majority of the of the of the challenges that we face as a human race are down to the fact that 90% plus of the world's population don't believe they've got any choice in the matter. And that it's down to the powers that be. 
where nothing could be further from the truth. So, if, if we have um, various layers, we've got our physical body, then we've got the etheric, then the um, emotional and mental auras, until we come out into what you would call the universal consciousness or the, the infinite possibilities and probabilities of, of the quantum world that everything's out there and the, you just align the quantum world as um, now how was I able to play that um, YouTube video of Dr. Joe Dispenza anybody got any ideas apart apart from my computer expert who's going to tell me but does anybody else have any ideas what we want is the key ingredient that I needed to, to play that there. Yeah, right. I needed access, a clear access to, I needed a Wi Fi connection, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Clear access to the internet. The internet, the internet. Then I was. Clear access to the internet. So, but it's the same with us as human beings. We, if we have the ability to have a Wi-Fi connection or a connection to the infinite world of probabilities and possibilities that is the quantum world or the universal consciousness, whatever you want to call it, the ether, everything, that is a living organism, that is everything and we're just part of that. Now, if, if we have brilliant access to the internet, we can Google anything, can't we? That's what we, that's what we do anyway. We can do, we can Google anything. The answer is we know everything because we've got access to the internet. Most people don't, don't even know there's, a, there's an internet to get access to and B, they don't know how to access it. That's the point. You get me? So even if they think that they, they know that it's there, they don't know how to get to there, they don't know how to access it, and they don't know how to be in control of the situation. So if we have blockages or viruses in our mental or emotional auras, eventually that comes out in the physical. So people will have physical ailments and conditions that are years before, or the thing that's triggered them, triggered the physical problems or conditions, is blockages in the mental and emotional auras or fields. Once you've got clear access from the physical from us to the universal consciousness. As Dr. Del Joe Dispenza has said, if you work on what you would call the quantum level, most healing or ha health is, uh, is uh, the, the present, present medical model or, uh, or the allopathic medical system is matter to matter or Newtonian physics to Newtonian physics do this it's going to take that long to get that right or, <coughs> or you will that's the condition you've got there's no known cure we don't know how you've got it we can't do anything about it so that's physical to physical matter to matter everything that that I do and um, we we go through is not matter to matter it is quantum it is in the quantum world it's quantum and the, when you work in the quantum level or in the universal consciousness everything changes in an instant that's where you get spontaneous remission comes from people people who've got weeks to live suddenly bang they get up walk out the hospital they have all the tests and there's nothing wrong with them and yet the doctors have written them off, said, 
make your last will and testament and that's it. What's all that about? And now all they're putting down to me is, well, what have we done now? It's just it's just a miracle. But if you know how it works, it's not easy. But if you know how it works and it's a miracle, it's a uh, to put a lot of people out of business, wouldn't it? 